We call it the Collie Law Retirement Scheme. There are two ways to get involved. You can adopt a dog under the scheme or you can sponsor the long-term care of a dog through a donation to our welfare fund. The Collie Law Retirement Scheme is our way of securing a safe and stable home for dogs who are unlikely to be sought out for adoption. This can include dogs who are over the age of 12 or those with a handicap, disability or long-term medical condition. Not many potential adopters will choose an old dog over a younger one and the cost of caring for dogs requiring long-term medical care can make them more difficult to rehome. For dogs on this scheme, Border Collie Rescue continues to provide financial support in its retirement home, sharing the responsibility for its welfare with those kind enough to take it in. The new home takes on the dog as a permanent resident for the rest of its natural life and looks after its day-to-day -day needs. This includes food, equipment, annual vaccinations and everything which would normally be provided for an adopted dog, healthy or otherwise. Border Collie Rescue will make a significant contribution towards any veterinary bills resulting from the dog's old age or existing condition. We will also cover the costs of the long-term medication which would be required in some cases. The specific limits and requirements vary between individual cases and are agreed prior to the arrangement going ahead. The carers are free to end the agreement and return the dog to Border Collie Rescue at any time should they find the arrangement unsuitable. They also have the option to formally adopt the dog, taking full responsibility for its care and ending the Collie Law Agreement. One reason why carers may choose to do this is that the charity's financial contribution may be unavoidably limited by the level of money available in our welfare fund. Whilst we want to help all of our dogs as much as possible, Border Collie Rescue is reliant on public support and donations for its income, meaning that we have to limit our spending accordingly. Sometimes, carers may choose to contribute through a small, regular, voluntary donation to the scheme, which helps offset the costs of the dog in their care. In some cases, the dog may also be suitable for public sponsorship. The name Collie Law is inspired by the original patrons of the scheme, Frank and Maggie Moyes. They found that they enjoyed the company of older dogs, adopting several of them from us over the years, and the feeling seemed to be mutual. Collie Law was the name of their house in the Scottish Borders, where so many Collies found a happy retirement home. Hello, my name is Frank Moyes. I used to take photographs for the International Sheepdog Society. And uh, just, that was just a pastime, a pleasant one. I was a photographer, but my hobby was to take photographs of the dogs at the weekend, at the sheepdog trials. And every weekend we used to visit different shepherds, and it was a lovely afternoon spent listening to the jokes of some of the shepherds and some of the words I just didn't understand they used when they were shouting at their dogs because I've been a properly brought up sort of person and don't understand full language. But collies are in a class of their own. I met my good lady many moons ago, 55 years ago, at the dancing. I went back the next week, asked her out and never went back to the dancing at all. We were quite happy with each other. My wife and I used to love getting out at the weekends to the country. Didn't matter where, sheepdog trials, that sort of thing. It's a wonderful thing to be able to just relax, to go out to the country. On my way to Peebles, I used to pass a house called Collie Law. And I decided if we ever got a house out in the country, I'm going to call it Collie's Law. And we did. We actually had ten rescue dogs at one time. We got quite a few from Border Collie Rescue over the period of time. One called Minstrel, which I always was, always amused me, a black and white dog called Minstrel. When we were getting older, we realised if we took on a young dog, it would outlive us, a good chance of outliving us. And we started to say, let's take some old doggies in. And we had quite a few old doggies, both from Border Collie Rescue, Bark and Berwick. And they were marvellous. They settled down within about 30 seconds to a minute of coming into the house. So people who try to tell you that the dogs won't settle down after they've left me, it's not true. They're, they're perfectly happy if you're nice to them. And people have said, you know, it's awful good of you taking old dogs in. I said, don't be ridiculous. It's, it's an honour to have them. 
they've lived their life, a good life, and they're, they're happy to come to me, and it's an honour to have them. The hand-picking of collies, which I received from Border Collie Rescue, was absolutely excellent. My wife and I had a run down halfway to the home of the Border Collie Rescue people and we met and had a cup of coffee in our restaurant there. The dogs changed cars and it was always nice to see them. And I had a friend who uh, did silverware and I got a lovely little silver brooch made for Maggie. And wherever she went, whatever coat went out, the silver brooch went with her. And I believe the uh, Border Collie Rescue I've got that now, which you lock up in a safe carefully every night. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs we rehome through the Collie Law Scheme may not have the energy or working abilities that they used to, but as Frank and Maggie discovered, caring for them can still be an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Through this scheme, the financial pressure of caring for a dog with medical expenses is greatly reduced, and Border Collie Rescue will provide support for both dog and carer for as long as they are together. These older and wiser dogs have lived full, happy and useful lives. Whether they have been hard-working sheepdogs or faithful pets, we believe that they deserve somewhere to put their paws up and take life at a slower pace. If you feel that you could provide a caring, secure home for an old or handicapped dog through this scheme, then please get in touch with us. If you are unable to offer a home to such a dog, but would still like to help, you could consider making a one-off or regular donation to our welfare fund which supports the long-term care of dogs on the scheme. We are grateful for any support that you can provide, and so are the dogs.